So you want to know my opinion on the top 10 best finishers in wrestling history, not including submissions and tag teams. All right, let's go. At number 10, we're starting with the man, the Hall of Famer, Goldberg's jackhammer was novel and fresh. No one quite ever did the suplex and held it there for what seemed to be an eternity and then twisted so violently and dropped the opponent on the ground. And the fans responded like crazy. His jackhammer on Hogan to win the title on Nitro in 1998 never gets old. The links are below. At number nine, he lies, he cheats, he steals. The Hall of Famer, the late great Eddie Guerrero, and his frog splash was so unique. The extension, the height, the distance the man traveled, and then the impact. No one did it better in my opinion. Rest in peace, Eddie. At number eight, the headliner, the showstopper, the main event. HBK Shawn Michaels' sweet chin music was iconic. From when he turned on Marty Jannetty to ending Ric Flair's storied career. The sweet chin music was simple but believable, and the fans really got behind it when he tuned up the band. At number seven, the most electrifying man doing the most electrifying move. Sure, the Rock's people elbow wasn't very believable, and it was just an elbow, but the setup, the pizzazz, throwing the elbow pad to the crowd, bouncing off one rope to the next, and the impact. It was something we had never seen before and The Rock did it to perfection. At number 6, I'm going with the best bout machine, the Winnipeg native, Kenny Omega, and the one-winged angel. Not only do I love the name of his finisher, but it's really unique to have an opponent on the top of your shoulders like that, hooking the head and then dropping him. To me, it's like a variation on the brain buster and it's just a killer move. At number 5, he's the best in the world, Mr. Straight Edge, CM Punk, and the go to sleep. I love the setup to the go to sleep. Punk putting his hands together for nap time. Throwing the opponent off your shoulder with the knee to the face is just so believable. At number four, the face that runs the place. The phenomenal A. J. Styles. His Styles Clash is super risky looking and only an expert technician could pull it off without hurting someone. And I especially love after the impact how he turns the opponent over with his feet to pin him. At number 3, I'm going with the dead man, the Undertaker's Tombstone Pile Driver. The Pile Driver is one of those banned moves due to risk and injury, but the Tombstone was still allowed and protected for Taker. Taker had the best setup with the finish signal and then crossing the hands of the opponent's body like he's in a coffin. What else can you say? Just a sick move. At number 2, ooh yeah, the Macho Man Randy Savage's flying elbow drop was simply effective. The way he would stand atop the rope, point the two fingers in the air, and just the distance that he traveled and the impact. No one could do an elbow drop better than him. Rest in peace, Macho Man. Before I get to number one, there's so many honorable mentions. I'm sure many people are asking, how can you leave off the RKO, the 619 from Ray, Razor's Edge, and the F5 from Lesnar? And all I can say is, guys, I tried my best. At number one, what? I said number one. What? The Stone Cold Stunner elicited more reaction from fans than I would say any other move. The setup up with a kick to the gut and then the stunner paired with the reaction from the opponents. How can anyone forget the way Shane O'Mac took a stunner, Kurt Angle, The Rock? The move is just fantastic and most likely on anyone's top 10 list. Thanks for watching guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button and comment below what moves I missed that you think should be on the list. Until next time wrestling fans.